Alright, uh, rather have you with us, candidate 19. Now take a few minutes of your time and to determine how you will fit in our program. For you joining the other candidates, it is paramount for me to double check some basic info, too, if that's okay. What's your first and last name? Let's go with the whatever the game gives us. Nathan Erickson. Okay. Yep. Still trying to find out for the name we met before. Welcome back, folks. We're in round nine. It's been a shocking night so far. Nathan Erickson, the name champion, with an impressive undefeated record of 18 wins. She's been struggling against the hometown hero, Thomas Cruz. Indeed, it is not the performance we expected from Erickson, known for his quick footwork and explosive bursts to enable to find the rhythm tonight. Erickson needs to make some adjustments quickly if he hopes to retain this title. We're going forward again, backing Erickson against the rules once more. Ferris is not countering effectively and not unusual for him. He's looking tired and frustrated out there. Ferris has a chance to away, but Cruz is having none of it. Cruz faints with a jab and oh my! Crushing right hook to Ericsson's body. Oh no! <laughs> now the Cruz plays shot, Ericsson is struggling to breathe. Harrison's down on one knee, pushing the side. Kapri is starting to count. The boss tries to get all the air out of him. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Four, five, six. Harrison's still on one knee. He's not getting up. Seven, eight. It's about to be over. Thomas Cruz is about to be the new champion. Another shocking turn of events for witnessing history right here. I don't think we have. Have yeah, you seen one of my bouts on television? Well, did he win that one or not? Because we didn't get to see the actual um, the outcome. No, that could be, here would be the reason, indeed. Well, more important for us to gather a better intel on your personality and the type of man you are. Nathan, I will now present you some ink blots. I need you to be honest with what's the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. It could be a group of entities, a specific animal, or maybe even a face. Take a look at my laptop. I'm trying to overthink too much. That works much better that way. First image, what do you see? Well, I see both of these. I'll see for like an animal. Mm. Clear butterfly. That's a butterfly. Yeah, that's it. He has four legs. Hmm. So you can be dominant good, submissive good, dominant evil, or submissive evil.
I'll do lightly ask, I guess. But perhaps we want some more substantial. I'm pretty sure you guys have already done putting the screenings or giving me the call anyways. Quick taken. We believe our conversation was better and productive today, Mr. Erickson. I mean, Nathan. Alright, sorry, Nathan. Better, way better now. You know, I was never much of a fan of formalities. I think we were pretty much done with those, Nathan. Not going to hitch for injury around the table right there. The sign on the bottom once you're done reading all of the sin and liability clauses. Okay. I'm all for it. Just out of curiosity, are you doing this interview with all the other two? It's the other big back. That's correct. The mission before you are candidate 19, so I still have nine under CBO to wrap things up. I see. Well, Nathan, it's been a pleasure to have you with us. I need to see what makes you to show you to your room. For now you won't be able to interact with any other uh, any other of our candidates, for integrity's sake, of course. How so? We'd like our viewers to see how we each direction unfolds on this season. Not only the beginning of the chemistry between the candidates and the queens, but the rivalries amongst you as well. Pretty much it. I wish you'd mess up, Nathan. Thanks. Nathan, that might be a candidate we're keeping an eye on. Well, come to some of the next man upstairs. Okay. Oh, that's for me. Okay, anything else? Are you okay, Agent? Sorry, did you say anything? That was for? Alright, uh, of course, sorry, I'm still on edge. You're an elevator rise or something? I mean, I am. No, nothing, nothing like that. Supposed to get a hold of the Queen of Diamonds upstairs. First mission on security detail division. Oh, I'm just sweating just thinking about it. I mean, I've never ever seen one of the Queens in person before. Hmm. Oh, really? Your very first thing? Yes. Let's reassure him a little encouragement can go a long way, especially on the first day. Need to open up. Job is for the pain of heart. And rather check or check. Where he a rally check will help him. Not his in fear. We we'll always find his own way to deal with nerves. No, just a little reassurance, encouragement. Don't worry. We got this. Just say focus on your best. I'm sure you'll do great. And I appreciate that. I'm super gentle words. You're welcome. Remember, confidence is key. This is where I get off. See you around. Alright, have a good one. Now this thing goes south. It's gonna be on you. Peace. And so be it. Mr. H. I strongly recommend you think this over, Eleanor. Your legacy be putting at risk here. So it was not me lightly, Mr. H. I'm giving a great deal of thought. The potential benefit far away is any personal risk. I hear ya, but Rebecca. Who is she making all of this? I believe she'd be proud of this decision. And mother, you always sought to make things right. They both know where I got her. And yeah, she's made a difference. Thank you, are you? Sure, this is the right floor. 100% positive. This is the right one. Uh, that's not a good. I mean, it's a decent percentage, but that's not. Yeah. Even 70%? Are you kidding me, Jones? What? 
And the reason you didn't have a thick of an accident over the radio. Don't blame me. Look, my rookies. If this is the wrong room. You have to deal with the backlash and you're all understood. I'm okay with that. It's about nervousness. I do believe I made a good first impression on Miss Iris. Who the hell said anything about Iris? The yeah, was the one you need to worry about. She didn't exactly become TMA's top field agent by playing nice. Okay. That was coming. Wait. Don't worry, I got this. Knock, knock. We all are open up. It's time to come with us. You're just from Clark Queen. Are you serious? I think we're in Let me cook, alright? Hey, let him cook. Get the man cook. It's not over. You in there? I think I hear someone outside. Oh, your shit, you hear? Listen closely. There's movement, I think. Yeah, it's right here, baby. Don't- What? <laughs> uh. Wow. She's trying to get them to leave out of, I guess, an embarrassment. Oh my god, sir. You got the wrong room. Need to put out here. Yeah, let's loudly yell, run, run, as we leave the wrong room. I apologize for your interruption, Mr. H. I didn't find a little distraction. Wow, that was some nasty pull there, sweetheart. Did you have it in you? Be so creative. I do what I must, keep certain parties off the scent. I understand this issue must be kept private. Of course. So are you in? What if I refuse? You have between your back on an opportunity to bring about real change. That's the decision you'll have to bear for the rest of your life. And that's me to stick my neck out without showing your hand. I don't know. Unless you know the better. For now, let's just say we have a mutual acquaintance who will be very interested in seeing this done. You're going to show yourself on this one, ain't you? I'll leave when I see it. And you will, Mr. H. You will. No way I will say things are going to be expensive. Let's turn this one down here now, future favors. Let's just say, you'll play this little task will put you in a very advantageous position down the line. Alright, alright, I'm listening. We're so glad you managed to take time in your busy schedule for us tonight, Claire. Especially given the delicate set of things in the art districts. Not at all. Thank you very much for having me. The yeah, rest is unfortunate. Let's remind that why our work at TMA is so crucial. Indeed, the Queensland Broadcasting Party was truly a groundbreaking adventure. Let's face it. Relationships these days are a minefield between AI romances and the divorce statistics, but not to make anyone scroll for love altogether. But that's where a sudden affection season 10 comes in, right? We were here for our authentic connection. We all have been. More spoiling, the promise of UBI was a cruel illusion. Fancy, we've been told for over a decade now. That's enough. We must carefully choose who to care for, who to build a life with. It's no longer about financial stability, Barbara. It's not emotional compatibility. When the yearly Golden Ingenuity Award for Ace of Affection the new season, the cherry on top of TMA. For that fourth and second of the year, no less. Care to share with our viewers on the idea of the concealer came to fruition? Everyone at the Match Rating Agency ultimately saw the way to transform the lives and create a unique opportunity for those seeking a chance to rise above their circumstances. The goal is bigger this time. You see, the budget is set to redefine what's possible. I'm sure it will. Just the reason everything has been finally made public. 
though they're probably on islands, it's better for some specific ocean or recording venues, venues and 500 cameras scattered without recording every angle. All the time towards Queensland with 27 candidates. And yeah, it's actually, both men and women among us like that agreed upon by all four of this season's queens. The ADC will be working really hard to ensure the public no the public no highlights are missed. What the hell is that? I'm speaking of ADC's her sister so basically given the senior position. Wonderful. It's quite curious how she managed to convince the most of the executives and teammates right for lack of national business background, isn't it? I can't help but wonder if your participation as the Queen of Diamond in the ninth ace of effect man played a part in swaying the executives to put her in such a coveted role. Ah, I like to think so. Although we never had a conversation, there's certainly a theory I can stand behind. And so let's find out okay that every woman in America deserves to find a meaningful match. If they look can pull off an event of this man too, with a brief time frame, it's Iris. When the eight districts potential connection to Roar, Queensland, but all it takes is this that one spark to ignite fire. It kinda makes your heart get a beat. Just like the lady a little too. Some of you only clears every car in your way, but steals your breath away while doing it too. And not to mention, trying to spotlight on the candidates early is easily the filter of those for potential. Definitely agree with you there. I wouldn't go as far as say that finding a good male is the problem to be solved in this day and age. It is. That's the major force behind all this endeavor. Now, it has always been. That's a fair statement indeed. All of them have their own personal idea of what the ideal match for them is, or they think they do. It takes a lot of introspective to realize how legitimately compatible that relationship really is. So then I know I've spent years chasing the perfect man, only to find out that they are degrading energy away from building a life there on their own ambitions and desires. On an effort for what? When you can choose to partner with your dreams and slowly mold them into what you like best. That's when the secret to a woman's heart is finally exposed. Right, that's why showcasing each candidate at the bar Queensland is so important. You may not know who you're interested in right now. You can see and learn about their accomplishments and their personalities. The second interesting candidate eliminated from our show, we get hundreds of calls our viewers as to how to get in touch with them when it airs. Logically, each candidate is competing for the heart of a queen of uh, suits until, until the curtain's closed and the show is over. And then on, it's your game. First, I have so much fun with Ken number seven from last season. Well, he had outlasted the Tigers from the Ten of Diamonds last year. He could have been lying. Unfortunate indeed, my dear. But you certainly wouldn't be on the market for long anyway. You know, they always scooped him up right quickly. That's supposed to make me feel better? It's not working, Barbara. My dear, don't be like that. Maybe you'll find an interesting one in the coming season. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, hold on. I just received an update from upstairs from the first family candidates had just arrived at one of the venues. Oh wow. Do we know which card it is? Production, can we get a confirmation on the venue? I'm not quite sure. We're collecting data as we speak. Are you sure? One of the four. The Pink Club is personally overseeing this one. Oh, so? This is going to be so much fun. She is such a crowd pleaser. The viewers are going to love her. Most of our viewers are on the edge of their seats right now. Production, are we ready with the live feed? Great, right, let's take a better look at the situation and our new candidates find themselves live from the venue. Hmm. 
the missing one start. It's number 17. Okay, it's 17, you don't want to do that is. Turn right here, Alaric. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry about that, everyone. Really me, am I right? Okay, hurry the fuck up already. Okay. Well, I'm not all day. There's a huge green button on the screen, I ain't missing it. Even if you're active with us. Okay, so okay, all right, we're doing entry list. I enjoy it, man, so relax. Relax. I'm not an answer type of guy, you know? There's no reason to be a dumbass this early, man. The car hasn't even started yet. I'm not even so sure about that. Look, see those lights? Someone's staring down at us. Observing. The same legal mic like I came across near a touch room while later. This is what I thought. We're all being watched since we first entered the building. I can only mean one thing then. We know we're here. Everyone's in a position. Hi. Mirror execute protocol 1782. Um, okay. No way, Mistress Priscilla. Now your turn, girl. What about the old lie? Sorry, Queen Priscilla. It's here to pull across 1782. There's no candidates. Refrain from leaving the designated area. Okay. No real lasers. That's what I find out. It's the lasers, alright. I mean, come on now. I can see my attack for you. No one's comes even close. Who's the monk in the middle? Registration has closed. There's a total of seven participants. Where is it? A recording sometime? The car will now commence. Our cattle will me once. Difficulty, it's a close. Thank you, not faithful in you. As I've heard all of you, I tell you have entered my first place menu, it's close. I am Priscilla. The pin clothes and beside me is here. Yeah, we will be always see me to close for all the people at home with the light. Being a strong first impression is as important as ever, especially when meeting with a woman of my caliber. Okay. Never I'm giving you all seven all seven opportunities today to tell a little about yourself so we can get to know you better. Just keep in mind that no matter how level each one of you are to our audience, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. And while an attractive phase is strong for personality may bring some benefit down the line, but ultimately not save you from elimination. We behold the exit space venue. Things are already being in progress. We should begin before we run into unforeseen scheduling issues with the agency. Very well. It's about time everyone learns how the exit clothes will play out. Can okay, please a moment of your attention? The can in turn states three facts about themselves, but one being a lie. Fans may individually guess which statement is false within 60, 60 seconds without the liar's intervention. Only when every can has lied will the car be successfully cleared. Sound more of a social game played between friends, but none of us have ever seen each other before entering the building. Excuse me? How are we close to identify a lie? That's your common resolve. Not mine, number 19. Now, who shall be the first to give us three statements? How about the one who won the green phone? Me? Is your phone green? It's you. We'll learn about you, sweetheart. Tell us. Okay. 
I'll start. Here I go. Okay, I'll climb Mount Everest. I wrestled the bear and worked as a chief chef in a popular restaurant. Please just like with everyone. Make sure to know which statement is false with your phone before the time runs out. Is that what the wood is down to? Rare luck? Okay, it has a point. We are all strangers to one another. I don't even know anyone's name, but mine. Living along with them will not improve my chances at all. The most believable statement in there is in there is that he might be a chef. I'll give him that one. But still. I was taking that. I better choose a strategy for the first round or I'll be in trouble. No, we will inspect Derek to see if he actually wrestled the bear. I'm not even trying to hide this hand from view. Smooth like a baby's bottom. Bear sir has to be a lie. Okay. Everyone's casting their votes for the first round. Soon we received all the votes. Perfect. Let's see how well they performed. It's happening to me. This can't be. What? What? What can't be? Are you poor, poor things? I didn't even get the chance of hearing about your backgrounds. Only you were able to tell apart truth from lies. You had so much fun. Okay, 13 and 17 were eliminated. Just like that. Like the very first round too. Such a shame. Just like that, we're down to five canvas. And the next round we go. Who should go next? That's the big man down there. Bertrand? Bertrand? Very well, Bertrand. I wish you the best of luck. I feel like you're gonna need it. And before we even start with the statements, what's up with your drip? Yeah, like, that's what I'm about to say. Is he a monk? My drip. And the wizard world and everything. Is that a kink or just a cosplay costume? You are a preacher of simplicity. I'm a believer. Believer, huh? You can't seriously believe it. You have what it takes to win this entire competition, right? I believe the right woman for me will see through the expensive facade. Thank you for who I truly am. The man of faith, the beacon of righteousness, will only enter the competition where sinning is inevitable. <coughs> How ironic is that? We survived this bald head for comedic relief. Maybe, maybe. The real your entire community is out there waiting to hear how you will to hear you how will you lie before everyone, Bertrand. Derek was it? The burden of sin does not simply lie in the words spoken, but in how they affect the hearts of those who hear them. Enough. We were up next, Bertrand. We need three statements and we need them right now. Very well. For 57 years, I've maintained a vow of celibacy, focusing my life on serving a higher purpose. I want to counsel the former mob boss seeking redemption. Before I joined the order, I was a murderer. 60 seconds. 59. 58. Murderer. You? There's absolutely no way they will let a criminal board Queensland, is there? Oh, maybe. Murder though? Absolutely not. The backlash will be ridiculously high. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, these rounds of our lives. The monk has lost his mind. Now he's purposely throwing what the throwing. What the fuck? Guessing my vote. Good enough for me. Our votes have been counted by our system. 
cream. So well, may I leave it? Are you sure you don't need any? I have to remind you I'm the major reason you're even here to begin with. If I need assistance, I'll let you know. Ooh. Of course, Grape Priscilla. It's decided. Can okay, a 15 is eliminated? I think I was already doomed to say he signed up for this. I'm in the faith, I'm no place in AOA. So, far as it. There are hidden rules that were not even stated. No has to be fooled by our statements, or you're out too. Who's up next? I'm ready. There's step four, Nathan. Wait, your three facts. Alright, uh... Hope my way out of poverty. One bout at a time. Personal box record stands to 18 wins, one loss. 16 knockouts. For the roar of the crowd, it was the quiet melody of the piano that filled my life. Me and playing on stage as a teenager. Hmm. All the sound like a brag, man. Maybe seconds are up. When I was eliminated, how was that even possible? I thought my statements were pretty good, too. You want this for a moment? Since there are three statements given, each candidate has one in three chances of guessing the false statement correctly when they're in a pick. So the odds of everyone finding my lie are awfully low. Unless... Everyone hear me out. The pass round is already over. Why was nobody eliminated? I have a theory. With the confirm I need everyone to be honest. If runs over early over, so this should be fine. Use your hand if you thought I could play the piano. Fine. I would have never that you could play the piano. You gotta fight the fingers. As long as we only get... Discharge. Ouch. What was that for? Prior discussion is forbidden until the next round. Next up we have Shane. Okay. Never broken a bone in my life. Uh, I also have two pets at home. Um, Charlie and Dolly and see what else. How about... You know, there has to be something better. Shane, my dear. You're overthinking it, so let me make this easier for you. Tell me this, am I a priest among the four queens of suits? Uh, I don't know. I think I know where this is going. Shane seems about to fall for Priscilla's trap. I will not stand for cheap tactics, even if they benefit me. If I say anything right now, I might have to in the clubs. She might my own business or she might come for me next. For him than me, the word competitors need to be filtered anyway. And speaking of her could lead to unwanted attention from Priscilla. Same side feels wrong to me. Um we will let me think. Up. Hey, don't fall for it. Mm. <sighs> well, Shane's gone. Okay, 18 is out. Mm. It seems Shane was a genuine man after all. What a shame. I still find amusing how most men will blink in my sight. I made mean, sure the rules were simple enough, but still 18 managed to screw up. Just can't help themselves, can they, Mira? You seem to hesitate to laugh to your face, Green Priscilla. 
Well, but we can't have all the raw honesty on that first date, can we? You have to bring something more intriguing to the table. You can create bullshit with me. That was something. Well, Megan, it's your turn now. Bravo. Round of applause for our winners. I wonder, did they even realize? I didn't realize it just yet. But why does Megan not have to play? I did play. I still right now to start my turn. And whenever can is live, will the game be successfully cleared? See even back then. Your first thing's gotta be bullshit. I'm voting one. What do you see, Megan? See him here. Megan, let's say I was a fantastic player reading between the lines. Crafted Derek, Megan, and Nathan. Maybe I'm just confused because I. I don't know. It's the club has been cleared. We have our winners. Okay. Um. I guess. I, I, I guess I'm the only one that's lost. Um. But it seems like a good time as any to save. Go to the main menu. These are all the um, candidates, I guess. I believe. One, two, three, four. Candidates, and I, I guess that's Priscilla. I don't know. But this is Ace of Affection. Let's see. I will be doing another part of this. I'm just, like I said, trying to get as many parts out as possible. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this game so far. Uh, if you don't want to wait for me to put out the next part, of course. Um, Everything I can for this game, I will be putting in the description below. Um, with that being said, we end it here. So hopefully I had a good day, good yesterday, and better tomorrow. And I will catch you all um, in the next video.